Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Rigging on Monday here at Big Bite Baits. I'm the coach. I've got Jordan with me as always. Uh, we're looking forward to having a good show today, Jordan. I know it's really hot here in Alabama, so yeah. I thought today we might talk about a little deep water fishing. Uh, but before we do, a couple things I want to run over. I guess you could probably see all the boxes behind me of the Frog Freak uh, giveaway deal that we did or the, or the sales. Those will all start shipping out tomorrow. So all you people that bought Frog Freaks, we appreciate it. And you should be getting your package sometime by the end of the week. So we'll tentatively start packing those tomorrow and get those out to everyone. And it was a good deal. It worked out. Everybody says it's pretty neat. Might be something we look to do, Jordan, down the line again, for sure. So on a, on, on a note of clothing, uh, 4th of July is not too far down the line. And we got Memorial Day coming up this coming Monday. I thought I might just run a quick promo on our, on our American flag shirt. It's a distressed shirt. It's cotton, it's a soft cotton, it's that new soft type cotton. And on the back it has our American flag, Old Glory, with the Big Bite Bait logo, logo on top of it. So, stuff that you might want to buy to be patriotic that you can use for Memorial Day as well as for 4th of July. It comes in two colors, it comes in a charcoal, and it comes in a denim blue to match a pair of blue jeans. Uh, so definitely something to think about. What's our price point on that? Do you remember Rob Hands? It's right around nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think it's nineteen. But anyway, check check on the website. We have plenty of them, and uh, we'd love to ship one out to you for the holiday season. And it's very cool. So something to think about. Okay. All right. Today I thought we'd spend just a few minutes talking about deep water fishing. It's fixing to be that way. Most pl most places in the South. It's starting to get hot, and the fish are fixing to move offshore and get deeper. So I thought today I'd go over three rigs. Three can't miss rigs, way to catch fish deep. Now I'm not necessarily saying it's necessarily the way that I do it, but it's overall things that I sell to people all the time and hear other fishermen talk about in random ways to catch fish. And I'm gonna start with the oldest one first and work our way toward the new things, okay? So the first thing I'd like to talk about is just a good old Texas rig with a, with a 10 inch B2 worm. And uh, that, that's, that's something that you know you rig with like a 3 8 ounce piece of lead or a half an ounce, depending on how big a lead you like to use. I like to use a wide gap hook. Some people like to use the old J-style hook, but it, it, it's definitely a real good rig to use when the fish move out into summer type waters. Uh, you know, and, and the coloring, uh, there's lots of different, every lake has its favorite color. I know that here personally, I love to throw a plum apple one. Uh, in, in another lake, it might be June bug. But uh, you can check our, our B2 colors out, and we're fixing to introduce here shortly, before we go to ICAST, we're adding about eight new colors to our B2 line. So there's some more things that's coming up. Matter of fact, one of these I'm holding right here is a new prototype color called Scuppernog. And uh, we haven't quite got it like we want it yet, but we're working on it. And, and basically, that, that's, that's, that's the first rig that I just wanted to kind of cover, would be the good old deep water Texas rig, old school worm, okay? All right, the second thing that I'll go to one of my favorite ways, besides the Texas rig, I like to use that finesse rig. And I love to use our eight inch finesse worm on our half ounce BBTW uh, fin twist head, which we call a, it's a magnum because it's half, and we have this like a half, a three quarter, three eighths. It works really good, it's got, and we also have a series called the mag head that we're temporarily out of, but hopefully they're on the way. It has a big beefed up hook in it, so it's even stronger. But that eight inch worm works real good out on the ledges to fish deep with. Uh, and you can, of course, get the finesse worms here. Uh, and, it, and it works really, really well. So that's another way that I, you know, that I like to go deep and get them and other people I know as well. And then the last rig this, this is this, I decided to pick a swing head uh, or a wobble head as some people call it. Anyway, it's a football head jig with a, that, that, that moves and shakes. With a, with a wide gap hook on it. I've got it rigged up with my favorite bait to put on it, which is a five inch fighting frog. I like to pull it. Now here's the thing about the wobble head that, you know, I think is kind of interesting. I like to pull it kind of like a Carolina rig, just move it along and stop it. A lot of guys, and I have one friend who I have highly respected his fishing abilities, he slow rolls it. He just kind of steady winds it and keeps it moving on the bottom to get that agitating look. Says he gets more bites that way. So that's kind of your preference. I like to pull it, you know, in long, long increments, but not keep it steadily moving. I like to stop it. So, you know, it all fits up whatever you like to do, but, but that, that's another good way to catch a, uh, the fish. This, you can get it in a three eighths, a half, a three quarter. And like I said, I like to, I like to put a fighting frog on or some type of creature. A lot of people like to put like a worm on it. 
Oh, they put the finesse worm on it. Just depends. It kind of fits your fancy. Or even a cross on variety on it. So something to think about. But anyway, that's three ways I thought I could share with you today that you might could catch a fish deep and it would work pretty well. Okay. Jordan, we got any questions today we can answer? Sure, while I'm finding some questions, how about you give some away to these guys too? Okay, good. So what I thought I'd do today, we want to get a little feedback from you guys. Just just send in something that you like to do in the summer and we'll randomly pick a winner. Uh, and what that winner's gonna to get today, he's gonna to get a big bite bait coaster and then he's gonna get kind of an assortment of big bite bait decals. Two smaller ones and two larger ones. One for your boat and one for your truck. Uh, so basically, let's hear your feedback guys. We'd like to get you involved. So do that and, and, and Jordan will randomly pick someone that he would like to be the winner today and we'll send this out to you. And we'll let you know and then you can give us your address and we'll take care of you. And uh, something, just do something a little bit different, Jordan. Okay. All right, questions, talk to me, man. Sure, here's a good one. All right. From Joey Marquette, do you prefer crawls or swim baits as a trailer? Uh, I like both. And depending, uh, sometimes I like to use the shad looking like a swim bait or a, or a pro swimmer. And then sometimes I like the fish, you know, like that flapping action of a crawl. I think that's kind of has to do with the mood the fish you're in, basically. Uh, I will admit I probably use a crawl more than I do a swim bait. But Jordan, you told me this morning you like to use a swim bait more than you do a crawl. So it, it, it's, it's kind of one of those things that you, that, you know, that you like to do and, and, and you kind of pick what you got your confidence in. But uh, basically, they both work very well. And I, you know, without dodging your question, I would definitely recommend either way. Kind of test your fish, see what kind of mood they're in. Okay. Here's one from Owen Brown. What are the best conditions for throwing the tilapia color? Uh, just in normal, what I call normal water. I don't throw that in a real muddy water, but uh, stain, slightly stained uh, up until it gets pretty clear. Uh, any type of green pumpkin type water, I think works good. I know tilapia is a real good summer color around here because the water, our water never gets like crystal clear where you can see the bottom in 10 feet, but it will clear up where you got say two to three foot visibility. And uh, that color works real well in that type of water. It's just something about it. They like that green pumpkin variation. Okay, here's a good one from Jackson Ecro. Is wondering what's a good ledge setup like rod reel line for these baits? Uh, I like to use a, a, at least a medium heavy to a heavy action rod. Uh, and I like to use, some guys like a longer rod than I do. I'm kind of an old school guy. So, you know, anywhere from a seven foot to a say seven four maybe, uh, use 17 pound uh, sun line or either 18 pound shooter. Uh, definitely a, a, a high speed reel where you pick your line up in a hurry. Uh, and, and that's basically all you need. And, and I definitely recommend four carbon for sure. You can go with the brand you like. I mean, I like Sunline. Uh, I definitely like, a, 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 I don't particularly like a real long rod because I'm, I'm an old school guy. It's just why I fished for years, you know. But most, most of these modern guys are throwing like a 7475 type rod with that bait, which will work real well. Okay, perfect. Um, here's not a question, but a comment. I thought that was a good question too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Not a question, but a comment. One of the shout out, Brandon Coggins just bought himself a flag shirt. So that's okay, cool. great, Brandon. We appreciate that very much. I think you'll enjoy that. That thing wears really well. And then here's a good question from Robbie White. How many species can you catch on our panfish baits? You can catch all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, we basically here have bluegill and what we call shell cracker. I mean, that, that's a southern term for a red-eared sunfish. And then, of course, obviously we have uh, crappie. Uh, you know, I mean, you can catch those I know on it. And then warmouth perch, which is a crossbreed looking fish. I don't know if you've ever seen a gargle eyes, but we, I was on boys call them down here. Uh, you know, all of them will bite that for sure, definitely. But there's any kind of, I think any kind of panfish will bite that type of stuff. You know, it's so crazy. We have like two or three different types of brim. You know, we have the typical bluegill, we have like a pumpkin seed brim, and then we have like a red belly brim and a river looking brim. So it, it's kind of, and they all eat really good. So, I mean, sometimes uh, I got caught the other day by a guy that watches this show all the time. Me and my wife were out shell cracker fishing. And he was giving me a hard time on the lake. He said, coach, I thought you bass fished. I said, well, I do, but today I'm out catching some shell crackers. So they're good to eat and it's fun, no doubt. Good deal. That's all the questions I got right now. All right, well, that's great, man. We look forward to it. Now, next week we're not gonna be on the air because it's gonna be Memorial Day. We're all going to be out for work. So we'll see y'all week after next with a new show, and we'll be looking forward to it.